morning everybody it is day 17 and we're rolling out of camp um pretty early this morning had a big day today going down into the noc and hopefully gonna grab some lunch there and do um a little bit of shopping i managed to lose one sock um if i had to guess i think it's probably sitting in the shelter that I stayed at whenever it was snowing because uh, we packed up and left when it was still dark. So maybe somebody needed one sock though and that can be trail magic for them. But I've got to pick up one pair of socks and then just like a few miscellaneous resupply things um, to get me to Fontana. So that's the plan today for the NOC. Um, not totally sure like what the mileage is gonna be. We initially talked about trying to make it to Sassafras Shelter which is the first shelter past the NRC, but that would put us at like a 12.9 mile day. And given the elevation gain and loss today, I just don't know that that's going to be doable. So we may end up just trying to like go as far as we can and stealth camp somewhere. Um, but I don't know. That's always risky business when the, when you're with a group because Self camping can be kind of difficult to find a spot for everybody, but we'll just see. Um, we'll figure it out along the way. But yeah, so um, I did not sleep great last night. Um, I had really like restful sleep, but I was set up on a slope because it's just not that many tent sites. And when you are not the first one to camp, like if you don't get to camp by like two or three, like you don't get the premium tent sites. So I was kind of set up on a slope and so every time I shifted or moved, my whole mattress pad was just like falling down the slope. So, but it's okay, I'm still feeling good today and I'm excited to uh, check out the NOC. I think we may have a potential for rain today. So I've got everything kind of packed away nicely and got my rain gear on hand um, if I need to grab it quickly, so. And we caught a really nice looking sunrise this morning. So that was really fun. Glad we saw that. So yeah, keep you guys posted. Little wishy. I'm going to leave him, but I'm still going to make a wish. A good morning indeed. Walking the ridge this morning, which means 360 views. We started a tree count for all the trees that we had to climb over. And this one is number 15. And it's literally 8 a.m. So a lot of trees down up here. The birds are singing. And the edge is steep. I know you can't tell on video, but it's real steep. And I think the trail goes all the way down this ridge here. All the way down. So, should be fun. Cuties. Little fungus right on the log. Look at all the little fungi on this guy. <laughs> Look how pretty and green it is. The green tunnel is coming. And we're ready for it. Look how cute these little babies are. The rhododendron leaves make the best little waterfalls for water sources. And this water source is so beautiful. A perfect little location too. Made it to the NOC. Let's go check it out. NOC, welcoming the hikers. Just a light resupply here at the NOC. Only the necessities, of course. 
This is cool. I know they do uh, like white water rafting type stuff here. I don't know if they're gonna have any of that today though. Maybe so, we'll see. About to hit up the uh, Rivers Inn restaurant, so ready to get some food. They didn't say no stank though. <laughs> Starting with the gorge fries. We already ate half of it. Forgot some film out. <laughs> oh, baby. Let's see what everybody's getting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How do you know you're in a. Uh... You talking to me? I mean, if I'm really still getting caught, you're up. Honestly, this is a vibe. Do I need this for a town dress? To the train, run out of train. Yeah, can't you see? Oh, can't you see what that woman been doing to me? AT goes right over this bridge at the inner sea. So the AT. <laughs> The AT blaze is right there, and this train is stopped right in the middle of the AT. So, do we hop on the train, yes or no? All right, we've been told that we have to walk all the way around the train to the other side. It's not moving for another hour, so. Um, we were tempted to crawl under it, but we don't think that's a good idea, so we're not gonna just walking around. Anything for the trail, right? <laughs> Oh, it gets a little narrow over here by this little pond. I have to put on my phone and uh, actually pay attention to where I'm stepping. Well, that was fun. We made it. Now straight up the mountain we go. Cute little wildflowers. Rock city trait. Rock, rock city trait. <laughs> wow, that's some big rocks. Big creepy crawly today. Whew. It's been a really tough afternoon. It's the hottest day on trail yet. I think it's about 78. And there's just not a lot of tree coverage yet. Because the trees haven't bloomed. And I do believe it's also the longest climb of the AT. Or the biggest elevation out of the NOC. Man, it's tough. It's really, really tough. But we're making it. So, check back later. A little memorial on the side of a mountain. It's cool. Oh boy, straight up rocks. There is no trail, just rocks. Oh geez. Just in case anybody was curious, climbing out of the NOC has by far been the hardest climb of the AT so far. And it's like, 5.30 now, I still have two hours, I mean two miles, to the shelter. And from what I read on Far Out, there's like no good tent spots there. And it's a big shelter, but when you're hiking in the bubble, there's always a lot of people at the shelter. So I don't even know if we're gonna have like space to set up. So now if we see a still site, I think we're just gonna try to camp out and claim that. It's been a day. It's our little still spot for the night. Fire's healthy though. 
Well, it's officially the end of day 17 and we did in fact not make it to Sassafras Shelter out of the NOC. Man, it was just a tough climb and it seemed like the hardest part of the day was like the last two miles and we were just beat by that point. So we found a really nice still spot about a mile and a half, just under a mile and a half, I think, um, to Sassafras uh, Shelter. So I think the plan is tomorrow we're just going to tack on an extra mile and a half and um, hopefully it won't be too bad tomorrow. Um, we have about 22 miles left until we reach Fontana and we're going to be taking a zero in Fontana. So the plan is hopefully about 11 miles tomorrow and then 11 miles Friday and then into Fontana and then we'll take a zero in Fontana on Saturday. So that is the tentative plan. Today was really, really tough. Um, mentally at the end of the day, we were all just kind of beat and just like ready, ready for it to be over with. But hopefully tomorrow will be better. And then I think once we get into Fontana and get some rest and warm showers and whatnot, um, hopefully we can go into the Smokies with like a nice rejuvenated mindset and, um, just feeling a little more confident about that. So, but yeah, so I'll check back with you guys a little later.